is this? One second. Um, okay, I need to pop out chat. There we go. I can close that. So now I have chat. Hello. Uh, give me a second. I've lost OBS. Welcome to the stream. Um, I need to now tell everyone that uh, I am streaming, which is <laughs> I am the queen of scuff. My streams do not do not do well <laughs> on the I have everything together stream because I don't. Why, why would I why would I have any of this planned? Why would I what why, why would I have done any pre-work at all? Let's do this. that down. Great. Now every single other one of my social media accounts needs to get blasted with this. Um. This is how my streams go. This is... This is... Well, hello there, Oliver. It is nice to see you again, too. Hello. Um, party? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, bring... Bring your drinks. And, uh, hello to CamCams18. I don't have water. <laughs> I have, I have done none of the setup for this. I am so sorry. Yeah, you should get water. Ah, uh, David's in chat. Hello. Hashtag hydration. Hashtag monster doesn't count. Um... <laughs> Or just kickstart. <laughs> or not. Uh, I'm not I'm not allowed to have energy drinks because I'm on ADHD meds. <laughs> and my doctor says it's bad for me. I'm not What do doctors know? I don't know. He's, he's the only the person. He's the only person that um. Uh, hold up, hold up. I'm I'm getting distracted. I need I need to make uh. 
Here we go. We'll do regular, bigger stream rules. There we go. And we're gonna slam it with uh, all of our usual tags, which no one will understand. And then we're gonna do Streamer, VTuber, uh, Twitch stream live now, English VTuber. Yeah, that's that's me, and then the the, the two of those things, and then that one, because why not? Um, and we're gonna go. we go. Okay. Post. Uh, so that's one down. So that one could go to heck. Um. Okay. Uh, let me go to, you know what? Let me just, let me just do a note. I think I can... what I do. I, I just rant. I just rant. There we go. Okay. No. Ah, hold up. Can I edit? Awesome. Can I add, um, Hear any rock and roll? Am I am I playing am I playing the wrong stuff? It should be lo-fi. <laughs> um, I think I forgot how to space things, which is where my problem comes in because I'm used to hitting enter instead of you know space. Let me just go to my profile and check my notes. It's not my notes. You didn't update. You just you just redid. Please let me do this. Let me check my notes. Awesome. Okay. There we go. Open video player, open a window, see it has that. Okay, so we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. 
can kick that out for the time being. Um, should I do a co-host post? The problems that I have here, uh, I am now live on Twitch. I can do like an added link here. Okay, give me a second. I did this. Oh no, that's not a link. That is a clip. Okay. We'll do this then. Awesome. I don't know if I can bolt you. No, it's just bookmark search. Okay. Uh, we'll just post now. done. Always for Twitch. Click. Okay. I'm sorry that took so long. I am finally here. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is, this is how this is going to go. Apparently I am just never going to be on the ball for my streams or for anything that I'm trying to do. Um, full intention of being, you know, on top of things, never gonna be. Um, gonna try and get that closer. So I'm not looking off the screen so much when I'm like trying to look at my chat. It's like I try to look at my chat here, and it, like it shows up that it's there. It's great. Okay. Oh. All right. So um, this is just something to go over, but uh. Moving moving forward, um, I'm going to be playing any game that I play on this channel is going to be played in um, the best way I can describe it is potato mode. So what's going to happen is um, I'm going to be playing any game that I play on the lowest possible graphics. And one of the reasons why I will be doing that is simply because it was, it's been brought up at like to attention to me that like the quality of like video games that we have available online is going down. Like it's it's going really down. And so I was like, okay, well, if the quality of, of video games are going down and it's all for the sake of graphics, um, anti famine mode. <laughs> yeah. Um. But anyway, <laughs> anti famine mode. Just calling back to the. To the great potato famine that is uh um but yeah no the uh um it's it's big it's been sort of made aware to me that like a lot of video games are using i mean of course i've, I've always noticed this but like uh, a lot of video games use graphics to sort of pass themselves off as like good games 
And so I was just like looking into that and I was like, okay, well, how true is this? You know, cause like someone, someone mentioned it and I was like, okay. And then I just started like going through the list of video games I have. And I was like, how many of these are critically acclaimed games by like big news groups purely because their, um, their graphics quality is through the roof. Like the, the graphics of a video game should not be its determiner for success. And a lot of times it is, sorry, getting hair out of my face. And so I was like, you know what? Let's let's run a test. Let's play every single game that I have left to play, not in high graphics mode, in as low as graphics as possible, with the idea of seeing a few things. Like one, is it playable? If it's playable on its lowest graphics, that, that's a point in its favor. Two, is the story still good? If you go to absolute uh, graphical crap mode, does does the story still hold up? And three is, uh, at low graphics mode, is the gameplay still engaging? Because I'm not gonna lie, graphics, graphics and visuals are for video games. Video games is, is, is a visual art form, is, is really what it is. Um, it's taking someone's story and uh, giving it way more depth. And so if that's the case, then it's like, okay, how much of this is just the artwork? that's making it actually a good game, and how much of it is actual gameplay, you know? Is, is this dime a dozen gameplay that's just been reskinned and has unique artwork to make it interesting, or is this something that is truly interesting? And so that is basically what I'm gonna be doing, I guess, going forward. Um, so that means that uh, I'm gonna be restarting the Borderlands Game of the Year uh, again, sorry guys. Um, uh, not the enhanced edition, just the normal edition um, from scratch. And I'm, I'm going to be putting it on the lowest possible graphics. Um, all games are going to be lowest possible graphics. And there is one, there is one game that I will go ahead and showcase because um, I know this game does not do what it's supposed to do. So let me just pop us over to uh, our lovely main screen here. Um, it's not, it's not Deep Rock Galactic. It's not even Dishonored. It's, it's this one. You, you can't play this below medium. And I will gladly show you why. Because I've done this. And, uh, this is, this is the first sort of video game on here that kind of gets the, uh, that gets the axe. If I can even play it, because I've just realized now that this thing, uh, doesn't update through Steam. Um, it totally updates through, um... It's third-party launcher, so I'm not even be able to run this. <laughs> like, great. Uh, yeah. So log in with Steam, please. Oh. Oh. Oh, can I just play? I'd love to just play. That means that you, you guys haven't updated this stupid thing in ages. This is the fifth. I know I haven't updated you since February. So the fact that you're telling me that you can run tells me a lot. Oh, I'm gonna um, pop off the main screen here. And uh, we're going to... Welcome to Elite Dangerous, the game that I play when I need space. That is both a pun and not. When, when, I, when I need to just not exist for a little bit, I will play this game. And I will just literally fly out in space. <laughs> but as you can see, like it's going through like the shader presets and uh, you're gonna notice this is gonna take forever. Um, and that's because I have this thing set to high graphics because I wasn't planning to stream this. <laughs> so now it's doing all of the pre-shading work and it's like, oh, hey. 
this, this game is also heckin' optimized um, for what it does. So if you haven't played Elite Dangerous, um, this is a NASA simulator. Um, it will use every key on your keyboard. Uh, it will make you want to buy a flight stick and a throttle control. Um, it will make you want to sacrifice all your mortal possessions to the void. It was previously a 10 out of 10 game. 100% would recommend getting. Um, but as we're about to see, it does not hold up on low graphics. Because it is a game that is just graphics. And they are very pretty graphics. This this game has no right to be this pretty. Um, it has no right at all being this... Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm choosing to ignore you. Uh, but, like, I, I see you up there, okay? Like, I, I see the puns you're making. I'm choosing to ignore you. I'm also really, like, miffed as to why my lighting system has decided that it's going to screw over my camera. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. There. Can I frown now? Yeah, I can. So I can frown now, too. We're good. Um, yeah. No, see, it's doing it again. My, my eyebrows are not... That's my eyebrows up. These are not... This is resting. This is resting. What is going wrong with you? <laughs> it crashed. You can't see it. But it crashed. Oh, my PC is so ancient. It crashed. It still says it's running. <laughs> it gave me a crash and it still says it's running. Oh, this is the most beautiful thing. Also, I, I can see that, um, that you laughed there, David, but, uh, yeah, it, it sure didn't pick it up. <laughs> This, this is actually a problem with my processor. My processor has to run in cycles. Um, the game has apparently crashed. Uh, but it is still running. It was like, hey, do you want to send this hardware report for this crash? And it's like, what crash? It's still running. There we go. Okay, just give it a second. Give it a second. It's figuring itself out. The station I'm at apparently is, is it blowing up. Um, give it a hot sec. And crash is lagging behind. Yeah. That's how old my PC is. My crashes don't even work. Um, let's go to graphics. Okay. We've got quality set to custom. Um, I'm not changing the draw distance. But I will bring the uh, anastropic down to trilinear. Um, that's low. That's low. That's low. Bloom is off. Blur is off. Uh, we'll go to off on the anti-aliasing. Um, I'm not going to touch... What are you even saying, though? Like, you're like... Oh, it's... Well, let's just leave it at one, then. Ambient occlusion, off, environment, low, FX quality, off, uh, particle effects, low, depth of field is off, material quality is low, galaxy map quality is low, terrain quality, low, uh, terrain lot blending, off, terrain work is at zero. Um, train quality, train sampler, uh, checkered rendering off. Um, jet cone quality low. Volumetrics effects quality low. All right.
display. You're using the correct adapter. Thank you. I have a 1660 Ti. It's looking a lot like a gay menu. I see that. I see that. This is this is how my, my streams go, okay? Things break, but they don't. Okay. Uh, sorry, just checking things. On stream side, okay, we're still good. I had to check, because as soon as I do this, we're, we're gonna see if this even stays. Okay. This is good. So we're gonna go back to game menu. We're gonna click continue. I always play an open play. Um. Because it's fun to get messed up by players when that happens. But this is just demonstrating why this game fails. Um, and it's, it's one of the most annoying things possible because I wanted to play this game a lot more on stream. You want to know what I discovered? I can't do that. I can't play it. I did that to myself. Just, just so we're clear, I did this to myself and you can see it directly on the dashboard. But let's, let's go and, and talk to it. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Did you, you're supposed to, did you change that? Graphics. Come on. Quality. Slow. Quality, model draw distance, okay. Texture quality, no, that's low. Try linear, we'll take. Low. That's low. That's low. Bloom is low. Blur is off. Um. Off. Thank you. I don't know what super sampling is, so I'm not even going to touch that. Uh. Not sure what upscaling is. It's probably not. Doesn't matter. You're off, you're low, you're off, you're low, you're off, you're low, you're low, you're low, you're off, low, can't turn you off, turning you off because I can, uh, turning you off, turning you or as low as possible, there we go, okay, apply this. Back to game. Resume. Oh, it's on Steam? Well, I actually recently updated that, so I should probably take a look. Is is it... Do you only get the plush today? Because I'll absolutely play more Palia. But this game previously failed. Because when you went to the menu, if you had the graphics turned down to zero, you couldn't read the menu. Well, because I already linked it to my twit uh, to my switch. Okay. Um. Can we? Thank you. That is. I don't even know what this is. What was I even doing? <laughs> okay, I got a fine. I got no missions, but I got to find. All right, well, we're going to use the, okay, that was Horizon. Horizon is zero. 90 is takeoff value. Um, I'm going to turn this up. Hey, because uh, I know you can't handle this. We're going to pause. 
we're going to pause the, the, the sound. Well then, excuse me. Um, I don't know what I was doing. I think I was trying to get in with a, a communist faction. <laughs> Um, and I've lost that now, so now I'm just doing whatever. I, I need, okay, I need to go to the galaxy. I, there's like specific buttons you have to press to do anything in this game. Everything is mapped. There is no key on my keyboard that isn't mapped. And the only way I know how to play things is by not thinking about the game. If I think about the game, I can't play Elite. If I go, oh, what button does this? Or what button do I have bound to this? Can't play it. I've got to just look at the screen and my fingers will remember. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll figure this out later. We're going to exit. This game actually does pass. Um, I might, I might play more of this uh, in the future, but previously it didn't. Previously, if you went on low graphics, uh, it would, um, uh, it, it wouldn't generate the, um, the menu, and you couldn't play. Um, okay, wait. I need to check, I need to check the Discord. Give me one second here. I need, uh, I need to check, where is it? I need to check the Discord on this, because Palia is one of the games that I enjoy playing. Ah... Uh, Okay, um, Palia News. Okay. Now available on Steam. Visit site. Let's rekey the music. Okay. Ah, uh, just doing a quick check here. Um, house is currently being built. Oh. Okay, wait, there's always there's always a way of, of doing this. Um control F Steam. Uh one out of five matches. If we do this on Steam. Awesome, let's do this. days from today to log in and receive okay so i just need to is it do i need to download or do i just need to log in through because like i've already downloaded the, the the game so am i just am i just going to do i need to re-download the whole freaking game that would suck and i already have pal world and can't play that Ooh, i should do pal world on low um, I love how people are like, it's mixed reviews. This is like the best game I've ever played. And I don't know why they didn't say it was an early access. Add to library. Okay. 
library. Where is Dragon's Dogma was playing? So I was trying to download that last minute and realized that I would be uh, streaming way too late if I did that. So, um, yeah, didn't. Uh, Palia, Palia, bam. Uh, add to the list. Goose. Oh, you will need to reinstall it. Well, I will have to do this later. I will have to do this later. Um, because Palia is a game, pause, thank you, Palia is a game where, um, like, full disclosure, it, uh, I've already downloaded it, so I'll have to download it again. Yeah, I, like, I, I have it, like, because I have it installed elsewhere. I might need to update it. <laughs> uh... Hey everyone, if we lose connection, it's because I'm updating Palia. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's like, Pelia is like if you had um, Harvest Moon meet, like, Animal Crossing, uh, meet the PC, you know? Like, it, it's, it's... But, it, it, wait, so you said try logging in. You should be good. You can link your Steam in uh, without going into the game. Oh. Well, we will see. We will see. But yeah, Palia is fun. It's a fun little game because, like, it can be as collaborative as you want it to be. So you could spend the entire game grinding for everything. Or you can, like, literally just ask people if they want to team up and they want to, like, get resources for a certain thing. And, um, basically, if you mine a rock or, like, you cut down a tree yourself, you will make just as much... Uh, you'll get just as much of resources out of that stone as if someone else were to help you. So basically, you can either do it yourself or you can do it alone. But if you do it with other people, it actually makes things cost less. Like, your your tools will eventually wear down. But if you're doing them with uh, people, you can actually get more uses out of your tools and more uses out of your focus when you're with friends. And especially when you're, say, fishing with friends. Um, if you're fishing next to someone... Your, uh, each time you catch a fish, you, you give the person next to you a boost, and so you can boost them up to five times, which means that increases their chances of catching rarer fish and makes it easier for them to catch those rarer fish, like, by five times. So, like, it's, it's like, a, I think the first time is, like, it's a 100% increase, and then it goes up to 500%. So you can fish with people and catch some really good stuff, but you need to, like, kind of talk with people and organize. Be like, hey, I, I need to catch X thing. Can, can I, like, get people to come down and, and help fish with me? And, like, it's it's very interesting. And, like, it, it does provide a lot of collaborative gameplay. They have, like, dungeons and stuff that they do. So, like, you can, you can play with friends. <laughs> Excuse me. I still need water. Um, I was supposed to do a we're going on break screen, and I don't think I did that. Yeah, I didn't. I'll have to, I'll have to set that up. Um, but yeah, no, Palia is, uh, it's collaborative. 
Um, you can build your own house, you can build your own, like, you know, mansion, homestead, whatever. Um, and you know what? Why don't we just show you? Why don't I just show y'all what Palia looks like? Which is this beautiful game right here, if it pops up. Five minutes later. I don't, I don't think I can. I've got to like... I don't know. See, player support is this. Okay, count creation. Let's, let's take a look at this. Um... Oh, see, yeah, this this link and account option is linker set up. And um, so I've got to I've got to do it through. Uh, I've got to do it through Steam. Unfortunately, it's not going to let me uh, not do it that way. So with that in mind. Um, uh. You went... You went to the website and linked it through your Steam there? Well, hold up. That doesn't... How do you link it? Hi. It's not letting me, it's not saying that that's even possible. How about I just go to Palia? Please do this. This would be so much. Gameplay. I want graphics settings. I want graphics quality. Put me on low. Distance. Low. Yup. Distance. Low. Anti-aliasing. I can't even turn you off. The only option I have is low. Shadows low, anti aliasing low, textures low, effects low, post processing low, foliage low. Um, okay. Yes, we'll limit you to 60. Oh, okay. Sets are all on move. Confirm. Confirm. Resume. Okay. Um.
account connections link account sign in it's like something went wrong and then it's like it, it connected <laughs> nice okay uh, yeah you you can link it it's through a weird process but you can link it um i've also linked my twitch <laughs> my twitch account is linked um so yeah There we go. I'm loaded in. I'm linked. Yeah, yeah, I found it under account management. But yeah, okay, so we're linked. Uh, this is going to be 10 pallions ahead of me, but like, yeah. Um, we'll showcase a bit of gameplay. Um, it's... Well, because we're going into a game and we're doing the whole loading thing. Once again, we will pause this. There we go. We are default in the game. I think right where we logged out last time, which was right on the front. Um, I'll have to give everything a second here. To just catch up, because my poor machine is dying and screaming inside. Anyway, uh, welcome to Palia. So let's start by showcasing at least how far I've gotten, which, uh, oh, well, catch you later, catch you later, Ollie. Um, I'll, uh, we'll catch you later. Uh, hope you, hope you have a good dinner. I know it's like, uh, six o'clock or I think it's almost seven for you. No, it's five o'clock for you. No, it is six o'clock for you. It's like six, almost seven. I keep forgetting that you eat late. Ani. You seen any cool bugs? Okay, she said she got, the bug got stuck in her workshop chimney. And then, good job to sprout. Every member of the Killmore Bugs goes, okay, yeah. I got inducted into your weird little cult. Yeah, let's do this! Awesome. Gonna catch some bugs now. Bye. Yeah, please leave my property. Sorry, he is kind of annoying and I very much dislike him. <laughs> 7 p.m. <laughs> Slug back back. Hi, Jacob! <laughs> Glad to see you're here. Um, yeah, let's see. I made a lot of money by just selling a bunch of stuff. So uh, what was I doing? I was making seeds, I think. Yeah, so I got eight of you. I got a normal one of you. Um, how many did I need for this? I think I was aiming for, yeah, so I got my 10. I got my 10. Um, Oh, you do four. Okay. So I should only need to do two? Carrots are so nice. Mm -hmm. And then, and then it's going to be potatoes. Potatoes is also one. So that's also good. I'm sorry, I just hit my mic. With my headset. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Doing, doing planting is the part that takes math. Because you have, like, spots like this. I'm just gonna harvest a whole bunch of stuff. 
Uh, thank you. I need. You. you didn't grow for some reason. You're good. You're good. You need life-giving plants. You're good. You're good. You're good. Hi. You finally disappeared. That means you're gone too. That means you require a little bit of TLC. So do you. So do you. Uh, I don't know how to, like... How do I do this again? How do I... I think it's G-examine? Yeah. So, certain... Um, how to put this? The, uh, the cotton here, um, it, it does a quality boost to those around it. Um, whereas... The, uh... Tomatoes here, they give you... A boost on uh, hydration, so you don't, so you can need to, so you can water less, um, which is useful because that, that means that you're going to decrease the uh, sort of destruction of your tools a bit, uh, a bit less. Um, actually, don't do that. I need you here. Cotton is a bit different. Cotton seeds do require three, so I am going to stick you in there and not touch you. That's because I do need more cotton seeds, but I don't want to have to keep buying them. So I'm going to hold off doing what I want to do. Pop you in there, got you your cotton. Oh my gosh, you're actually three golden cotton seeds. That might, how much does three give me? One gives me three. So I will make a whole bunch of cotton with you. Um, rice. I didn't know that we had that money, but rice. Rice requires one, makes four, so that's good. So that should be eight, which means we'll be making those. And I believe those seeds do more. You're kind of good on the wheat front. Um, I have corn, which I need to do more of. What does corn require? One makes four? Okay. Um, it's normie, normie. You're a normie. Da, 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 da. None of you are star quality. You're star quality, but you two ain't. And you're also something I will get rid of. You I will put up there. Because I can. I'm really nice to listen to. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. Like I've hated my voice for a very long time, and I haven't really done a lot of like I've done voice training, and I do actually have a professional voice trainer who I'm like going through stuff with. But like I just don't think I'm. I don't know. I've never found my voice pleasing to listen to. But that's also because I think the majority of the times I've heard my voice has been a voice that is not this raised. I can I can ruin it for you if you want. <laughs> I can hit base. Um, which might actually not be that high, but or might not actually be that low now, but still. Um I can still do it if you want me to. You can hear my progress. Cause let's see, how was I doing this before? Um the difference between how I was speaking before is, and this is like, I'll go through the changes step by step. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, man. It is kind of hard to hit this voice now because like I can hear my voice cracking. Because voice training will fundamentally alter the muscles in your throat. Oh, it is so hard to do. Uh, voice training will raise your larynx. It will raise quite literally everything. 
um, over time. The more you keep it up, the more you uh, do it consistently, your muscles have a problem going that low. And so even right now, I can, I can feel my voice sitting on a higher registry than what it does when like I wake up in the morning. Like, this is, this is what I dealt with for 26 years of my life. And uh, this is kind of how I sounded. Um, it's uh, David and especially Jacob, and if Oliver was here, um, can attest to how low my voice used to be uh i think part of it is i'm I'm a little bit slouched right now but uh yeah this is this is about around where i'd um i can i can feel it oh lower right now than you remember um you know what there's probably a reason for that and that is uh I was always subconsciously trying to make my voice higher and uh, in doing um, in doing vocal training, they actually teach you to like they teach you to, to use like what they, they call like the, the no exercise, which is like no and, and it's about getting your low voice registry to a consistent point. And then you just build up from it. So the first thing they teach you is like no laryngeal raising whatsoever to just go from like just do pitching. So you're going from like no, no, no. You're doing that. And it's like it, it's voice cracky. It sounds awful. You do that constantly. You're just starting up high going low and you just hit your low register and then you go from low to high and it's i sound like i sound like a lord vader episode three. Oh geez no beautiful anyway um basically you you start there and you don't do you don't do any laryngeal raising so then what you do is once you've, um, they, they teach you pitch. So you go, I think it's like, if I have the, the voice program on my phone, which my phone might be dead right now is the only downside. Um, let's see if I can do this and get this set up to work. Um... there's a voice program that they make us use and they're like oh yeah you gotta like you gotta do your your whole vocal registry thing from this <laughs> thank you I'm, I'm i'm glad that my uh mask af voice is uh um on that level anyways what you do what they do is they teach you pitch and i don't know if you can hear it and i'll try to get it through but there's like a drone that you can do now I gotta turn that up. There's a drone, which is what they call A3. And I don't know if you can hear that. Probably not. It probably voice gates it a little bit. Um, but they make you do that on your low voice, so that's like no. That's that's what you're doing. But you, you don't have any vocal laryngeal raising raising. And so they're like, okay, now raise your throat, right? Like, you've got, you've got a chamber in your throat. Um, and so if you raise it, if you don't change your pitch and you raise it, it's kind of like doing Kermit the Frog. You're, you're raising your voice up, but it doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound good. It sounds stressed and, and not... It doesn't sound... This doesn't sound like a voice. I'm sorry. You, if you're doing this, you're making fun of someone. Um, or you have a voice like this, and it's just very constricted and then what you do is you go to a3 which is where this is and for the longest time this is where my voice registry had left me um this is no it's about the 225 hertz range um and it's not very high 
it's not very um and there's another thing i'm doing i'm, I'm getting rid of vocal fry so um vocal fry is when you don't put enough air into your voice and your your uh your vocal cords rumble a little bit and so that's what this can sound like so you get rid of that and it gives you a, a bit more of a uh, of a rounded sound and then once you go from there as you do the whole a3 again which is 220 no and then you just raise that laryngeal uh, a little bit more so you get no so the difference between no no and eventually you end up here and it's just practice it's just continuous practice listening to yourself and seeing where you're going it's just like i can feel the strain in my voice just a little higher but um yeah this is what you're doing but if i were to drop the pitch at any fucking moment and i were to go all the way down you can almost do kermit but you can also just kind of keep it here this is also just with the throat raised it, it doesn't sound great and you can do a breathy too if you really wanted to so you get rid of the vocal fry but it's still there it's definitely not what it used to be which is down here if i do no laryngeal raising whatsoever but i do this and all of a sudden now i have a little bit higher of a voice and then i add pitch and i'm up here and then i just go a little bit higher and it's just the sub the subtlest change the, the next difference uh that sort of happens sort of naturally with this is like the smile and speak and thinking of the word key and keeping your tongue kind of on the top roof of your mouth. All of those little changes eventually come out to here. Uh, yeah, I don't know who you're talking about, but if they're a transphobe, please don't. But yeah, no. Um, doing vocal training takes time. It's taken me three years to get to here. And even prior to transition, I was still trying to get a more femme voice so I could try and hit higher notes while singing. So it can take longer. It can take five, six years to fully get a good voice. It takes practice because you're training an instrument. And so it's like one of the things that I would do is I would just sing little tunes. Like I'd sing sea shanties and I'd sing, um, I'd sing like stupid little like TV jingles, like the whole, um, oh, what is it? It's, I can be sad, I can be blue, I can be violet sky, I can be... No, it's not sad, I can be blue. I can be violet sky, I can be hurtful, I can be purple, I can be anything you like. And just like starting low, just going from like the low registry to the high and just... Doing that, it, it, it slowly teaches your voice how to, how to do what it's supposed to do. Um, I've just realized that like I'm probably going to need to... Give me a sec. I'm gonna... No, that's the wrong thing. Didn't want to click that. Uh... Hi. Great. Great. So now you'll be across the screen from me. <laughs> it's taken so much work. Um... And the thing that I've been going to vocal therapy for has literally been this last step because before... <clears throat> Sorry. Before this is where my voice was kind of sitting. It didn't really have that that little... I don't know if you can hear it, because because I can, but it's a slight subtle difference. And that's going from where I was here to where I am here is is just a little bit further of a laryngeal raising. It's not... it's not much. <laughs> Unable to connect. Okay, that's fine. I'll try that again. Um, it's, um, it's just a little bit more, you know? It's just the tiniest bit more. And the goal of that has been to try and sound femme over voice, so that, like, if you were to not listen to me speak, uh, at all, um, or have my face, uh, seen at all, you could just listen to me speak to be gendered as feminine, um, that's been the goal. Um, and I understand that there are women who have, uh, slightly different voices, you know? Um, pushing, oh, Okay, doing all of that is actually, I can feel the strain in my throat. <laughs> I think going low killed me. I think, I think going low actually messed me up. 
Uh, I've been doing so good on the high registry for so long that I think going low actually puts strain on my vocal cords. Which is a surprise. I, I didn't think that... Because I thought that going high would be a problem, but it looks like going low is the issue. Um, I don't have any mail. None mail. Uh, okay, so you're doing... you're doing things. Uh, you're no longer doing things. That was 490. Um, you're done. I need... I got 52 break. No. For the time being, we'll just dig all of our stone, or 100 stone, and we'll throw that in there. And that will give us the opportunity to go mining. Uh, let's... Oh, what's this? Ooh, new watering can. Okay. Uh, finally, I'm getting the big upgrades. Um, let me do a repair all on this. We're gonna go and... So I'm pretty sure this is the crafting station. I gotta go all the way over to the tools section. Yeah, I'm on the fine items now. So I've got a fine pick, fine, but I don't have the... So it'll be the fine watering can. Uh, fine little guy. But before we do, let's show you the house. Which I've moved all the way back to my property because if I go to the H mode on this, um, these are the areas I've not yet locked or unlocked. And then this is what I have. This whole area was covered in brush, and I have cleared it out because I am a menace. And yes, this was from uh, the holidays. And then I have this thing, which is the cutest thing in the world. I want all of the plushes. Um, there is a, I think it's G. I don't know. Is it R? No, it's... Oh, it's control. Like, I've... Can I... Can I stick you? Something is in the way. No. No! Oh, it's too close. Okay. I'm just stick you there. Well, I had festive stuff going on, and I have festive stuff all over my walls. Anywho, uh, I have... Those are my gutters. Wait, that's only the ramen and the stew. Ramen. Ramen. Okay. Veggie stew, veggie stew. What else can I make to try and get... No, I've only got those. I can't do the bacon puffs because I don't have an oven. And I can't do loaded because I don't have an oven. And I can't make tacos. Do I need another prep station? What? So I need two prep stations? Okay, I will make another prep station. Well, we'll see what happens. If I can even make another prep station. I want to make tacos. I, I think the tacos are more important. Um, crafters. Mixing station, prep station. I am missing clay. We are on a clay hunt. Clay hunt. Uh, I'm assuming that's dead by daylight. But yeah, no, um, vocal training. Yeah, it's my voices. My voices has gotten, the strain is no longer there. Um, going low is now voice strain. And that's, that's the one thing that I think, uh, I think a lot of people should know 
or at least if you're if you're training your voice, you're gonna get voice strain. If if you stick stick primarily in a lower registry, you're gonna have vocal strain when you go high. If you're primarily in a high registry, you're gonna have a vocal strain when you go low. Um, and I think that's that's something that that they that like you will only ever hear talked about if you're in um, if you're in choir, like. A lot of vocal therapy places won't even think about that because like they don't they're there to help people like recover how to speak they're not necessarily there to help with feminization and part of feminization is tonal and tonal means that you are coming across the same uh issues and concerns there's a little bit of lag here um you're coming across the same issues and concerns that i wanted to sit down on that so bad um you come across, sorry, of like a lot of issues and concerns that you'd be dealing with in, um, uh, like singing. Anyway, um, they have some new hairstyles because I know that they updated. And I have wanted to check out the new hairstyles for so long. <laughs> uh, I'm also really happy for this one. This is. This is beautiful. I love that they've added that. Uh, no. I think I'm going to stick with my, um, my previous. But... That is tempting. That's so tempting. I'm going to, I'm going to go for that one. I love that hairstyle. Um, I don't have a face cover and I'm not... <laughs> I transitioned away from beards. Yes, you are bald with a beard now, as you should be. Um, ooh, those are cool glasses. Does that mean that there's new items in store? I don't care about the party sausage one, that's stupid, but like, that's cool. And then they have like the half circle frames, which is nice. Before they only had, they only had these three. It looks like they've added this one, which is cool. And then this one was from an event and I will always keep them on. But these are cool. Like, I really like the golds. Ooh, silver's nice. That one's also nice. I kind of like the dark one, too. Ah, okay. Um, hats. Uh. Yes, I have various hats, but the leapfroggy one is my favorite. Um. And I will show y'all why, but, uh. Actually, I will show you the quick outfit, outfit with the leapfroggy one just because I enjoy it. Um, but the leapfroggy one is this. And there's bottoms for leapfroggy as well. they are this. And I just, it is the coolest casual outfit I will ever find. And I enjoy this one greatly. And I will always enjoy this one greatly. Um, you can't make me not enjoy it. Uh, but, but, I do have a couple others, um, that I have enjoyed, and on occasion I will wear, and that is, like, the Harvester ones, which I don't think has a hat, but the Baker one does. I'll show you the ones with hats. I'll show you the ones with hats. Because they got, like, the high-impact ones and stuff like that, and I mean, like, yes, this is a... I... I... am probably actually... Hold up. Hats first. Let's... Let's show you the Leapfroggy first. And not get too off track. Because there's just so many cool outfits. Um... The Fungal Forager, I think, is... One of my more favorite ones. Just because it's all Chantrell, and it's just... I don't know. It's got the little froggy on the top that moves, and it is very cute, and I enjoy it. Um, the other one with a hat is the Reaver set, uh, which if you haven't noticed, I have a thing for purple. Uh, is this one I very much enjoy. Um, the nature of the swashbuckler-esque. Uh, and then I have some other ones that um, y'all haven't seen me grab. Because we had this one, which does not have a hat. 
uh, which is only partnered with the Trickster one because it had the better boots and the um, whole V-neck thing. I'm sorry. It just If I had a chest, I would be flaunting it. Um, it was zero freaking shame. Uh, of course, there's the high impact, which is just... I won't explain this to you. You should understand why I went for this. Um... This one also exists for a reason. And it is just because it is harvesting. And sometimes I like to run around and look, you know, cute in a harvest outfit. Um, and by the way, I've been like supporting this game in the background, uh, back one from when I had money, um, because it was just a cool looking game at the time. And I was like, I want to take a look at this. Um, but now we're going to go to the baker set and this is a must buy. No matter what I do, I have to get this one every single time. And there's a reason for this. Back when we were in beta, To explain this, back when we were in beta, I had a small joking uh, thing that I did on the Discord. And that was, I was going to be Palia's first ever villain. Right? Because it's a game that, that doesn't have any, like, evil in it, really. Like, there's there's no evil boss or, or evil uh, baddie at the end of it. There's nothing like that. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to be Palia's first villain. And the only thing I'm going to be able to do is just, like, overload people with, uh, with food. If you give the option to trade food, I'm going to overload people with it. With the good stuff. I'm going to go out of my way to make the good stuff. Um. And so, yeah. That spawned the Legend of the Baker. Um. Which, in Palia's beta, was the funniest thing. Because this outfit was one of the first ones that, that released. Specifically, it was, um, there was one that was bright pink, and I used that one, but then I decided to go for the purple because it was there. Um, and so I would wear this outfit, and I would run around, and I would, uh, um, help people out, mine things, boost things, and then act all evil about it. And, um, people found it endearing, adorable, and stupid, and, uh, I very much enjoyed it. Um, and so to this day, I will always be... The baker. No one can take that from me. I am I am the baker for life. The leapfroggy one is just it's fun, but uh hi. We're gonna do I wonder if Hey if I did you but then I went to the and instead of doing this, which is the reaver, we did this. What if... Uh, it's close. I think we'll go for none. We wish this had a purple option, but it don't. You know what? You know what? Let's, let's, let's have some fun this stream. Let's be a little stupid. Let's run around as this dork, but I really do want to see what they've got in store. Uh, oh, bridal party. Not interested. Um, don't get me wrong. <clears throat> yes, the baker. Uh, maybe I'll do that one. Um, don't get me wrong. I, I love to dress femme. Um, <laughs> but I am honestly... Like, if there's a good purple suit... Excuse me. Ah, uh, it's between these two, to be honest. The gray cape. I think I'd do this. I'm, I'm, 
look, okay, as, as much as I'm a girl, I'm a girl that loves suits. Uh, I love how it's like, you don't have coins, but I totally had more coins than that. Thank you very much. But fine, we'll, uh... Oh, you don't, it's not even detecting. It's a cottage witch. Ooh. Ooh, do you have a purple? Decides if I buy you is if there's a good purple option. Eh. It's not, it's not purpley enough, you know? It's not dark purple. And even this, it's like, I get it. You know, that is, that is almost worth it. That's the kind of, it's the kind of purple I like. No. No, see, that's... Color me interested. It's not purple enough, the purple club. Jeez. Uh, okay. No. That's purpley enough. That's a good purple. This is a cool outfit, and that's a good purple. And it's purplish. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good purple. I might actually go and get you. You're not worth it. You're kind of worth it, but not really. You're definitely worth it. Um, if that one, I'm sorry, <laughs> I see this, I'm getting Splatoon vibes, like we about to go to a paint war. Like, that's almost worth it. That's it's so... That's cool. That's a cool outfit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, you've got two that have sort of won my heart. Um, however, the Killama Cook goes with the Baker vibe. You're not... I kind of can't really see a lot of the good vibes of this. That's worth it. It's it, it fits the vibe. It fits the evil purple vibe. <laughs> Kill a cook. Uh, timely Taylor. You got a good purple one? No. No. I think that was your purple one. It's not good enough. <laughs> um. High tech conjurer. Hi. Okay. Uh. No. No. No, it's just evil. It's not good enough. That's pinky. Well, shit, y'all are just trying to take my money now. <laughs> that's all. That's all you're trying to fucking do. They're just, they're just, they're just trying to steal my money. This, this is too good. This is such a good. I enjoy that. I enjoy all of these stupid outfits. I don't care about the, the glider. Um, Dragon's Dancer. Ooh, kind of cool. Can you top it? No, you can't. Kate, not worth it. So close. So close. Not quite there. New Year's Dancer. Nope. No. No, none of you. None of you had what I was looking for. Alright. I think, I think I've done the techware one before. And, like, I think this is their purple one. Um. They're just not worth it. 
that said, the traveling trader is also one of those ones that like, yeah, sure, it's got like a purple vibe, but it's just not, it's not enough. It's not, it doesn't have what I want, which is purplage. And I got the capsule blundle, which is uh, a mixture of um, stuff and things. And more stuff. But I don't care. The capsule bundle is not worth it to me. Um, this, however, I know for a fact does. This, this one, this one right here. I don't even care. Okay. This one here. This one here is worth it. To me, that one alone is worth it. There's a few items that are just purple evil. And I like it. And the Sooth Slayer, I think, Sooth Slayer has this one, which is also heckin' worth it. Um, this is just purple. I'm, I'm a fan mm. of purple. Would I consider spending a ludicrous amount on this game just for outfits? Yes. Yes, I would. I've already done this one. Um, and by the way, when you buy a uh, part of an outfit, it actually gets cheaper. Uh, so you buy one, it's cheaper to get the rest. Um, they had builder style, which my only once again gripe was that they had like a pink option, but they didn't have purple. Like I wanted one that had like a purple plaid shirt and they just did not provide that to me. Um... Student, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Students didn't do anything. Um, they had the mass doctor one, which I was like, this would be really cool if they had like a really nice purple one. They didn't. I was so upset. This one almost counts. Like it, it counts. It counts. But I don't do sleepwear. So close, but I don't do sleepwear. Um. I have the Fungi Forager one that I wanted. Uh. There is the Bookworm one, which I think this was their purple version. Um. So yeah, some stuff I've seen, some stuff I haven't, uh, this was the, the, the Christmas one that they did, um, yeah, they had two of these, I think this is their purple one for it. Yeah, this was their purple one. It's kind of purpley and bluish. Uh, I looked at it and said not worth it um, a while ago, and I have never checked it since. No. Yeah, no. That's why I never did any of the winter stuff. Um... Once again, this was their purple, and it just just felt lackluster. It was like an off purple. It was like it wasn't it wasn't the deep. And then this one was another one that I was looking for, and waiting for, because there is a purple set in here. There was. That's well, that one. It's got purple highlights, and it's almost worth it. And it looks better on the cover than it does, like, when you actually wear it, which which sucks. Because, yeah, this one that was, like, black and purple highlights, and then you look into it, and it's like, the black and purple highlights doesn't exist? 
you're like, oh, it's this one. It's like, that is not, it's light gray, it's not dark. And I was waiting for it, and when it finally came out, I was like, it just, you, you got the colors just a little wrong. Um, the Happy Hiker one, I was hoping would save us. And it did give us something that was somewhat purpley. And I was mildly happy because that was more than what the other one that I really wanted that didn't give, uh, didn't give me what I wanted. Because you had the Happy Hiker, and then, like, yeah, there's the Royal Strategist and stuff like that. And then there's the Street Skater, but that wasn't the one that I was, like, hoping for. It was this one. It was the Trailblazer. I really wanted a purple one of this. Purple would have looked so awesome. But the closest thing that we have to purple, like, I think is this. And I was like, come on. I wanted an oversized backpack. I wanted a purple oversized backpack. And even the Royal Strategist, I just, like, I, I made my comment on this before. There's... Part of me... Part of me cannot do the imperialism aspect of this, like, whole thing. Part of me cannot do imperialism. Um, it's not, not a thing I'm capable of. Uh... And if you've... Spend any time perusing my social media, it pops up like once in a blue moon, but, um... Yeah, yeah, bad history. Bad, bad history. Family... I mean, I'm not in contact with my family anymore, but... They're jerks! That is semi-cool. It's a nice purple color. But I outgrew that phase in the 90s. Um... That is to say, I was like six... When the 90s ended. Uh, okay, it was like early 2000s, gone. Um. Da, 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 da. Da. What? Okay. Uh, River Guardian, pretty sure there is no purple River Guardian. Closest we have that, still too bright. Um. Some things are not meant to be dark and evil, and I understand that. Just, you know, I want a dark and evil version anyways. Uh, plushy pal. Um, if this one has a good purple, I'll get it. Look at that, it didn't. I'm just upset because it's the only one that has freaking cat ears. <laughs> like, you give me one, and you're like, oh, it's called plushy pal. And I'm like, okay. But then you don't give me anything else with ears? I have bought that and into that one, bought into that one, uh, bought into that one. I did not go for the vampiric, even though, yes, I know that it exists. I just... Eh. Eh. Uh, Stately Sage. Pretty sure that was their purple one right there. That was kind of more of a blue. So, yup. Yup. Um, Folk Flowers. Another one that I think disappointed me. It's been a bit. Eh, it was close. It was close. I would have preferred an inversion of the colors, but... Or swapping of the colors, but, you know. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, smoking jacket was largely uninterested because of the short shorts. Also, lack of purple. Uh, whoop. Everyday flare. It's stuff that my mom would wear. Because she thinks it's fashionable and she is not. This one's cute. <laughs> Too many outfits. I know, that's the problem. It's too many outfits, not in good colors. Like, 
I got the rogue. The herbalist, I don't think, was, like, worth it. The, technically, the bard one kind of is. Um, I think at some point down the line, I was like, I'm going to go for baking-specific outfits. It's baking and pirates, right? So I was like, okay, in order to cut things down, I was like, no, no, that one's a no. Um, Spring Flyer, no. Hawker, no. Uh, Glitterati, no. Uh, Buckaroo, I was like into this at one point. But once again, there is not a um, purple option. Uh, Would have been interested in that just for the hat alone. Um, the Fiberpunk. I I think I was going for this one. Or this one, I can't remember. I decided against it. Um So baking specific, so food specific ones, you know? So not food specific, not food specific. Even though this one is pretty cool, and I'm gonna be honest with you, with the whole like ripped jeans and everything. Uh This one, I think, was my favorite because of the guitar. The other ones just did not have the the vibrant purple color on the guitar. And this one was like, yeah, that that fits. Um, or the guitar heart thing. Not sure what that is. It is weird. Um, yeah. Food specific, not food specific. Uh, herbalist, maybe food specific. Has to have purple, right? Food or pirate specific. That one's the closest that they get. Might be worth it. Might not be. Depends if it ever goes on sale. Um. Not food food or thief specific. Thief specific. Bought into it. Took what I needed. Uh, Sky Cadet. No. Spot A. No. Uh. I don't know what this means, but like, is this doesn't look. None of these look to me. I don't care if there's a purple option. None of these look to me like something thiefy, so my answer to that is no. Um, Cadet, no. Disciple, no. Uh, ballroom Bell, no. Everyday Flare, no. Smoking Jacket, no. Folk Flowers, no. Not food or thief specific. Uh, Stately Sage, no. Vampiric, dark, not there. Buccaneer, pirate shit. I bought into this. Uh, let's see. Trailblazer? No. Even though this one looks like it should be a purple. But it's this one, so it's pink. The Liars. Uh, making moves. Yes, I chose this one. Why did I choose this one? Literally because... Cyberpunk. Um... It's, just, it's the whole thing for me. That's also the reason why I was looking at this. Cyberpunk outfits. Anyway, making moves. Uh, this one, food specific. Originally, I had this. I think the darkest one I had was the brown. Because these are the only ones that were options. But then they gave me this one, and I saw this, and I was like, it's purple, it's perfect, let's do it. Didn't hesitate. A harp guitar is an actual thing, interesting. Um, That is... I can see that I can I can like hear the sound in my head. I'm a, I'm a I'm a band nerd and I can kind of hear the sound in my head. And it's not a displeasing sound. It's just incredibly unique. Um Sunkissed. No. Uh so it's not food based. So that one was thief based. That one is not. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yes, that one was. No, yes, that one was food-based. Uh, that one is not food-based. That one is not, um, I'd, I'd get it for the cat ears alone, but, or for the ears alone, because it's the, like, frog ears and whatever, that's close enough, but they don't have a good purple, so the answer to that is no. Uh, that's a no. Street Skater! This is one that I may consider. It depends entirely on, uh, literally this one, which it, it passes the test. So this one I might actually get. Because if you don't know anything about skateboarders, you, we, we mess shit up sometimes. Um, it's all part of the whole fucking rebellion part. Uh, not food or thief related. 
Not food or thief related. Once again. Uh, nope. Cancel. You. Uh. You don't count. You don't count. You don't count. It's literally you. And it's you. And you're not it. Um. So food or thief related. So that one's a no. That one's a no. No, no, no. No. I did get this glider because it's dark. And I use it. Um. Somewhat food related. Mushrooms. Got it. My options were literally this one purple one. Or literally nothing else because nothing else had that purplish vibe. Except for maybe this one. Which in hindsight... Is the superior option. But I'm dumb and I chose the wrong one. So I'd have to go and buy the completely different one to then never use that set again. Um. This one is, is even though there is a really nice purple outfit for it, you're not a thief. You're an astrologist. Unless there's a there's a purple hot dog. There is a there is a purple hot dog outfit. That makes me want to puke. <laughs> that is horrifying. This that is that is a horrifying outfit. Why would you do that to me? Um So yeah, uh, strapped in, that could fall under the thief category. I'm, I'm not, you got a mask. That counts. Um, high tech, once again. It depends on the options available, but that is still a pretty good option. And if that legit pops up around it, I, uh, I'm down. So yeah, there are too many outfits. Um, we're gonna make do with what we, I'm wondering on the pants section. What the hell? Right. That may yet fit. Well, that one won't. That one might. We'll just go with this. There we go. Turn. Bye. Just so that we can have a little froggy on the top of our head. Um, yeah, so wait, what did you want to talk to me about? New stuff in the shop. <laughs> okay. Items. I don't have anything from you. Uh, oh, okay, so I've owned all of those because I had to, but now, why aren't you making level six? I don't have the levels to do this, but then you're looking at me and you're like, here's a bunch of capitals, the two, four, six, eight hundred. I don't want to waste. I. Hi. Um. Awesome. I'm not asking you. I know who I want to be my chef. It's the most moody friggin' girl in the entire thing. And of course, why wouldn't I? Uh, let's do. Oh yeah. Um, the only downside of this game, there is no swimming. Uh, if you try to swim. You are, you are gonna face plant. Uh. Oh. 
Hey. Interesting. I haven't seen the shades. Normally you can help people when they try to go and take uh, iron ore. I take that, sorry, take copper ore. I take copper ore because I know I'm going to need it eventually. And if I see it, I grab it. Uh, look up there. That's stone. Hop. Looks like they've made it. So, what is that? Why is there a huge frog? Excuse me. Oh, it's a lure. I don't need that. What is this? What are you doing? Please tell me there is a way inside you. I need to know. There is not, it seems. Very well. We will do this the hard way. First, I want to see if you are climbable. And if you are, I want to get on top. The goals of my life have changed. No! I'm gonna be so upset. I could have made it. I could have made it to the top. <laughs> yes, this is what I do in my spare time. Just so you're all aware. And not surprised that this is basically how I live my life. And I am now on the top of the thing. Ooh. Oot. I got a frogbert plush. Is there more frog birds? I see. Okay, so this is what I'm noticing. You're like, there's a frog bird, but he's got that little arrow next to it. One, two, three, four, five of you. So I gotta find five others. There's also no fall, fall damage. However, there is a, a consequence for... I'm sorry. I have never seen you before. Um, hi. Little things. Little things. Hmm. I'm hallucinating. Small shit. But that's okay. Oh, 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 oh. find things. This is what we're here for. We're here for the clay. Stone, stone. It's a deer that I can shoot and take stuff from, but I'm not looking for that. There is copper. Copper number one. And copy number two. And the 
this. I keep forgetting it is two. And only two. They're like... Secret frog bird? Yeah, I'm keeping my eyes open. Oh, what are you? Ah, oh, you're Emerald Carver Moss. Technically, I need you for a lot of things, but I don't need you right now. So I will regret picking you up, not picking you up later. Now level seven, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna take more of these. Yep. Um like that was all bad. I'm gonna go and do this. Play. And more play. Uh, ah. No. Damn. Okay, yeah, that's what happens when you try to go into the... What the heck? Why am I... What even are you? There's a light lotus. Don't eat. What even is that? Okay. Let's see, look, there's a person with a deer outfit. I forget what the... I don't know. I don't have the... Where's my wave? Yes, sit. Shocked. Point. Help. Clap. No. Kneel. Um... Where is my wave? They gave me a heart emote. Why wouldn't I do a heart? Give me the heart. Bow. Formal bow. Heart. Peace. Uh, thank you. I will do the thank you because people do that. Um... There's no need for a yes, I'm just gonna do a wave. And... Wink, clap, shock, laugh. I'm gonna put no in the laugh one. I am dumb! <laughs> oh no, okay. Uh, point. That one's good. Laugh. That one's good. Wave. That one's good. Thank you. And help. Um. That was not thank you. This is thank you. That was Neil. We're gonna do a heart. We're gonna do a Neil. And we're gonna do a sit. Pets. We have this one. Technically, we have other ones that we can also pull out and use. But we're going for the nocturnal one. Alright. I need clay! This one... is copper. Let's see, this game, 
this game, at least to me, it has replayability. And it's on the lowest graphics. And it doesn't look, like, terrible. It doesn't look drop-dead gorgeous. But is something... I will be selling all of these gems. What are you? Wild ginger, I will take. And you're more clay. I think that's all of the clay I can collect in that particular run. Uh, it is a good 75, which is which is nice. And I'm getting some uh, some gems to sell, which I know I should be keeping, but I don't. Also getting some stone in that, aren't I? Yeah. And there's Silva. We can drag you. There's more copper. Getting more silver. Bet you anything. Yeah, I got the room for it. I bet you that's more ginger. That's well good. I mean, I think that do. Um. More wild green onion. Yeah. That's all ginger. Okay. Ginger is new. We didn't used to have ginger. Now we have ginger. Our spice game is increasing. I was going to make a joke that as a white person I will still under-season my food. But, um... I was a coward. <laughs> and also, my, my people are notorious for uh, overspicing things and also using far too much butter. Dinner was great. What did you have for dinner? Want to know? There, I am dairy intolerant. <laughs> Not dairy intolerant. I have a dairy allergy. Job at three one five. What are you guys talking about? Yeah. Okay, but see, there's a difference between you doing that and me doing that, where it could kill me. Like, I think some of y'all, it's just, it just sucks, because, like, y'all are like, oh, I'll, like, eat butter, even though, like, I'm not supposed to have dairy. And it's like, yeah, if I have it, it's deadly. My, my doctor recently stuck me on antacids, and, uh, I didn't realize this was how the human body was supposed to function. Because, because I've been drinking milk for so many years, my body was like, oh... I see what's happening. You're trying to lower stomach pH. Great, we're just gonna increase that. So then when I don't have uh, dairy, it's like all of a sudden my insides are like, really not happy unless I'm eating just starches. Oh, wow, this is, uh, this is Paldium. Okay, uh, welcome to Paldium. Um, it takes forever to mine, and I hate it so much. It's worst. Pallium. Not seeing any iron. Hello, your iron. Like. Iron. 
I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh, yeah, they can, too. But yeah, no, um, but I should not be, uh, eating or drinking any form of dairy. It makes my tummy upset. Oh, of course it's showing as just chatting. <laughs> um, because I was originally doing this whole thing about, like, is it good? Um, but now it's turned into just Palia. <laughs> We're just playing Valia. There you go. It's been updated. We're uh, we're we're on Palia now. Sorry. Uh, originally, this stream was gonna be a talk about a bunch of stuff, but I have evidently gotten distracted. Um, what I was gonna talk about in the course of getting to doing something like this, um, is that I do want to do games on low graphics now, just because, well, not only am I having the most amazing frames I've ever had in my life, um, it's a good test to see if a game is good, right? Like, does, does it hold up to the, uh, quality requirements that, you know, people would have of a game of, um, Of like of like gameplay, like does it does it meet the quality requirements? Uh, oh, flow tree by plot entrance. Okay. My inventory is now full. Uh, I was looking for iron though, and I've only got seven. Give me more iron. 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 No iron. No iron. Okay. Yeah, no. Is that a key? Stone, stone, stone. No iron. No iron. Who has this? Paddle mines. You got iron? I need iron. Is there is there any iron up here? No, it's just stone. And whatever the heck that is. Someone's pouch. Oh, you got a stone? Okay, there we go. I had a bit of a glitch with the pickaxe. It wasn't wasn't picking. There is no fall damage. Fall damage is a lie! Fine. Stun! Whee! Look. Once again, no fall damage. My power just flickered. That is interesting. I'm still thinking about Pallium. It's in my brain. Very nice name, you know? Pallium. The heck? Well, that's a glitch. Oh, but that's cute. See, like, why does that look better with the graphics turned down? There's, there's the question there. Mind you, this game is designed to work on a potato laptop, so I don't really have much to worry about. Um, and in hindsight, that's probably the reason why it does so well. bug is rare and I know it's like a, a rare spawn chance and it's highly worth getting it but you know iron I need iron there was only one but you know 
It was something. Adjust my seating arrangement because that's starting to weigh on my stomach. Okay. Now let's see. Here we go. Here we are. Running through a mine that has no iron left. Bug catching fest. That's cool. Who's gonna run past? Someone used a specialty item, and as much as I'd love to join in, uh, I'm I'm doing a rock hunt. Huh? Hmm? Wop, wop. Okay. Last little bit to just climb me over. Hi. Your stone. Where's your stone? And I'm a little bit upset by the persistence of stone and the lack of iron. I came to this whole map well, for iron, which I've only have 12 of. Any place that has a rock location. Yep. Can technically be an iron location, which is why on occasion I just mine a whole bunch of rocks. Because I'm looking for this. Got two garnets now. wolf thing. It will run away and jump into a tree. Then if I cut down that tree, like, three of you will pop out. Very interesting thing. And I also don't have the, um... Also very cute and cool, and I very much love this. This is fantastic. Would love to take you. Can't. Ran right at you. I was like, <gasps> mushroom. But no, I can't take you. I'm not allowed to take you. My inventory is full. And I am such a broke bitch that I can't afford the backpack upgrade. I didn't realize that we had a... Since when did we have... What is this? This is new. This wasn't here in beta. This wasn't here in the recent release. What's going on? It sent me home. I'm not angry about that, actually. <laughs> kind of needed to be here. Um, okay, you're going in, you're going in, you're going in, you're, ooh.
you're coming out. Uh, your specialty. You're going in. You're not. You're not. You're going in. You're going in. You're going in. You're going in. Mailbox. Okay, well, now I can apparently do gold ore. Ah, uh, crap. Um. Last pain. Uh. I had 12 light bulbs, don't really need it. We're good. What you're doing, you're you're done. You're done. You just finished. And I walked over and you were like, yeah, nope. We done. Um okay. So Technically I need you done. And then you are part of the stack. I'm not sure how else to put this. But, uh, yeah. And there's all these, which is special in their own way, and I can't figure out why. Um. You, you are a plush, and <laughs> not a valid placement. I don't care. That is not a valid location. I'm just gonna give me a sec. It's not a valid locate. Okay, fine. You will go here. And we will take you. We'll go there. You will go there. And that's just how that's gonna be. I don't know what that, um, what it means with the, but yeah, okay. And then we're gonna stick all of you. Hi, I just realized all of you are done. Okay. I, uh, we're gonna stick you in there. Uh, we're gonna stick you in there. You're technically gonna get sold, but you are gonna go part of the, uh, fabric machine. So, have fun with that. Um, you are getting sold. You go along with all of these. Because I don't care. Wait, hold up. Can I actually, like... Oh. I can actually show... Oh, fine. We'll showcase one of you in the home. That's it. That's it. Uh, you know what? I'm just... We'll drop you right there. <laughs> okay, uh, wait, there's... Um, quests. All the flames, masks. Level four quest. Okay. Fit for a watcher. Uh, well, I'm gonna need a new room for that. That's the problem.
Oh. Wait. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm not playing these. I know what these are for. You bombarded me with so many of them. Mojin me. Mojin me. A lot of Mojin me to the mix. And soy sauce. And there's apparently Napa cabbage seed, so we'll be making some of that. Oh, my God, you. Okay. Um. I'm just going to. Place you right here. That's too friggin' big. Okie dokes. There is no fighting in this. Sorry. I uh, missed that uh, popping in there. There is no fighting in this. Um, it is literally just a run around and chill game. Um, collecting resources, building things. Uh, building up your sort of your land plot, um, improving relations with your uh, with the local villagers, and there's of course mysteries to be solved because you popped out of a mist and nobody knows what's going on, and you're like, well, I'll try and figure that out. As you can say though, there are some um, there are some like this doesn't open, but it's supposed to. Um, there are some little glitches here and there in the game. It's technically still an alpha even though it's not showing that on Steam. Um, I think we're gonna keep the sapling because I kinda needed that. Uh, okay. Um, there is like a lot of stuff to do in this game and there's a lot to keep track of too. Uh, so while that sells, there's no fighting, there's no combat, uh, there is hunting. Um, they didn't really want to add like PvP or anything into the game as well. Uh, the whole idea was they wanted to create a collaborative MMORPG. Um, or at least a collaborative MMO. Uh, the thing is, is right now the servers are limited to 25 in size. They are a smaller company. The more that they develop the game, the better it's going to get because um, they're still in active development, but the goal is is that they're trying to make the game completely free. Um, so it'll all be funded by uh, essentially the outfits that are in the store and um, any other gimmicky items that they can make because they don't want to make the game so that it is pay to win. So the game is just free to purchase and down, like, or <laughs> free to download. Um, and... I don't know, I just kind of think that's neat, you know? Uh, what the heck was I doing? I was going to town. It is 10. It is 10 p.m. for me. Uh... By the way, this is my favorite thing in the world. It's called a chapa. Um, they're little dirt snorfers because, like, once they go far enough... Come on, do it, do it, do it. Do it, schnoz first into the ground. <laughs> they just dig straight schnoz first into the dirt. I love them. <laughs> They're my little schnoz dirt snorfers. I love them. They're called chappas. And there was a deliberate um, movement that almost made it through where the, um... The community almost had them renamed as Chews. Hi, Kenyatta. Can you tell who I'm trying to frickin' romance out of all the people that are romanceable in this game? Aw, I know what that's like.
Too bad, I don't know what you want. Yeah. Awesome. Toodles. You're an acorn. You want friggin' acorns. I am just beside myself. <laughs> Hallway section, 3,000. Fireplace add-on, 400. Porch. A door. A gazebo. I could get myself a windmill. Or a bay window. Wood shingle siding. Paper screen wallpaper. Front barrel tile roof. Glazed grooves, steel leaf kilima, moral kilima, sundrop kilima, lotus, iron. We're gonna do the lotus. Um, harvest house. Well, that's the original. So if I wanted to build two houses, I could. This is an add-on. And you said this is a hallway section? You said this is the base and it is 11 by 11 meters. But this one is a 3 by 3 to a large room. Do I do this like a Norse house? Or do I do this? Do I do this traditionally Norse or do I do this? So if it is traditionally Norse, I could do an entryway. And there are no second floors. So if I do this traditionally Norse, I just use the one starter room as the center hearth room. And then I can do three big rooms because your large room is 11 by 11. So I could do 11 by 11 on the front, back, and sides. Um, And then I could do a hallway section to three by three. Because your medium is this one, and this one is seven by seven. I could do a hallway section to both of them and see if I could stick a small room on the side. So what I will need is I will need two big rooms, which means I'm going to need 20,000. Ah, okay, that's a lot. That's a lot. Um, there's also the increased crafting license. Which increases the number by one. And this is a... Expanding my house space writ. You guys don't do anything anymore. Because it's all on the... Stop. Uh, sorry. I didn't want to... This say to you. I wanted to... This... Um... Great. 120 renown opens me up to two spaces. Ugh, what do you want? Hi, Ash. Oh, what is it? Oh. <laughs> uh, I hate you so much. No, you, why not?
smoked oysters? You want a campfire food. I guess it's grilled oysters. Smoked oysters? The fuck is smoked oysters? Pardon my language there, but what the heck? That is, once again, that is still the cutest outfit in the entire game. Okay. Uh, it's, ooh, no, I need to return to seafood. Hi. I've got the best metal you'll find. Yeah, where did I put my hammer? Ah, uh, that's why we make those. Okay, um. So yeah, and if you accidentally destroy your work table, you can buy it back for 200 gold. So go catch bugs. Uh, glass bulb. Iron bar, not really. Okay. Let me leave. Thank you. Hi, you well, had something you wanted to talk to me. I didn't buy anything, did I? I hope I didn't buy anything. Um, the soil is always a good investment. I know. All oh, requires gardening level seven. And then you guys use pallium. I'm not part of it. All right, I'll sleep you to it. Well, I will have to come back for your watering can. Probably be level. Uh oh. Ha! <laughs> he glitched me. Uh, even escape doesn't work. No. No. No, you d disabled my keyboard. Um, is there? I'm wondering if that might do it. I got Frogbert. Yes, I got I got the big one. I also got the tiny one too, because you could, if you climb to the top of the big one in the field, um, you can, you can get a tiny one and then it looks like you're supposed to like fill it up or something. I don't know. Yeah, I got that. I got the big stupid frog. Here's the big stupid frog. Want to know something great? There, there's, there's another stupid frog. Also, it, it worked. It totally worked. I got the stupid frog thing. But basically. There's Frogbert. Frogbert plush, Giga Frogbert plush, which means there's, and if you pick them up, they have little arrows next to them, which means they do different things. Hi, I'm also here to do this. Um, I have Ritz 2 and 
Confirm. Confirm. I will eventually clear the entire plot. Um. I do kind of want. Like, high key. Kind of want. I don't know what the 1111 is, you know? I'll just throw that here for the time being. And because it's all like a relativity placed, I can literally just move it and it's fine. I can change my outfit in here too. So if we're gonna do a bunch of farming, which is what we're gonna do next, what I'm gonna do is put myself in farmer work mode And we're gonna do some farming. And by that I mean I'm gonna do This is a better one. The initial one sucks. I got us free stone! Free clay? I actually do need clay. Thank you. Whop. 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 Okay, I'm gonna plot. I'm gonna plant this. Um. Thank you. This is just like the monotony part of it, but then like my brain is like going going off on the inside. Like I don't know how to do this, how to explain this, but like there is a certain brain happiness that I get for doing certain things. And like this is one of those where like I go up and then I go down and then I just get these little like each little Pulse is a success. Okay. That one I messed up on, but we're fine. Um, excuse me? What did I miss on you didn't pop? You didn't pop! Neither did you. Oh, no. The... You didn't pop. Oh, none of you are popping. Uh-oh. Did I glitch something? Oh, 
Uh oh. And it did it again. All right. Well, we'll have to we'll have to quit. There's I've kind of countered a couple glitches, but but there is one other game that I would like to end on. Um, just on a matter. Try switching to. I mean, I could. I could. I've ended it because it's just sometimes that messes it up. Um, but I also like it just stopped me from moving and it keeps disconnecting me from my keyboard, which uh, lets me think that um, I might be encountering a small game glitch uh, that I will have to report later. Um, will it load? It says it's launching. I don't know if it's launching. Let's, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna do, um, does it play on lowest graphics? Does it even launch is like the better question. Cause like, I don't think this is launching. Maybe not. Maybe we won't be. You probably seen the update to the hack and stream. Um, but it might not even do that. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. It doesn't want to do it. So, uh, we're going to leave that as is, uh, and just go back to just chatting in a bit. Um, okay. So that's, that's evidently not going to go where we wanted to. Um, with that in mind, um, I'm going to switch to this. Hi. Uh, so with that in mind, um, of just like this in general, I will be going through some more like story based games as well and asking, um, still hands, uh, asking the question, is it good? What I can say is that from a perspective of Palia is whether or not you have, uh, a high graphics laptop or a low graphics or like a high graphics, uh, gaming computer or a low graphics laptop, um, you can play Palia on the lowest settings and it doesn't detract from the game. They've, they've done a good job. The gameplay is there. The progression is the whole point. Um, the, there's nothing that's that, like, the increased graphics really, like... Decreasing the graphics doesn't detract from the game itself. Um, sure, things look prettier when they're um, uh, in, like, um, on the high graphics mode. But it's not required, uh, which I think is is a very good thing. Like the game doesn't break. There's no like major animation breaks uh, with the game. It's just a matter of things look prettier, and from a pr that perspective, Palia is pretty good. Um, what I can say is that Elite Dangerous, uh, the the decrease in graphics from experience, and and I will showcase this next time if you guys want. Um, the decrease in graphics does detract from the game. Uh, things become next to impossible to read, and there are things that are environmental cues that can help you, uh, tell you where you're supposed to go, that if you don't have high graphics, those disappear. Um, so it is, is very important to have high graphics on, uh, Elite Dangerous, whereas something like, um, Palia, not gonna happen. The, uh, I guess the next major check for me to do 
is to uh, log into Power World and um, drop the graphics so that ideally that we can check wh um, what the uh... oh hi David I missed that yes have a have a um, have a good night's sleep uh, I know it's getting late I'm gonna be uh, signing this out actually really quickly here um, but yes no the going into into Palia and taking a look is one of them I've got a number of games on my list um, that include uh, some I mean we've talked about Borderlands uh, if I can get Baldur's Gate to ever run yes we'll we'll take a look at that one too um, Deep Rock Galactic runs perfectly fine potato mode and not potato mode um, th there's really not much that the, the game uh, is lacking it, it kind of runs on pretty much everything so I mean like I will still potato mode that just for the, the nature of keeping it to the, to the channel um, we do have another installed game on this which is, is Dishonored um, and we can check take a look at that at, at potato mode as well um, but we've also got of course Dragon's Dogma which will take a look at potato mode uh, once again, we'll take a look at, um, we'll see if Dying Light actually works, because normally that's been a pretty high graphics game. Um, so Dying Light, The Evil Within, uh, the entire Fallout series, starting from Fallout 1, uh, we'll, we'll try to get Fallout to work. Uh, Fallout 1, Fallout 2, uh, I don't think I have Fallout 3. I do have Fallout New Vegas. Um... and Fallout 76, and Fallout 4. Uh, but we'll potato mode all of those. Um, of course, the only Far Cry game I've ever played is Far Cry 4, so um, we'll potato mode that as well. Uh, I don't know if Final Fantasy 15 will even run on my laptop, but we will have to see. Um, God of War is another one of those that we will have to see if potato mode can even run and stream. Um, just so that we're all clear, uh, if it's potato mode and it can't be streamed, it's an automatic fail. And I will make a separate category to any game that fails horribly, that cannot stream, into a special category of its own uh, of games to play that are um, trash. Basically, uh, they'll immediately hit the trash list, and it'll be a game that we'll go through. Um, and, like, that'll include things like, of course, doing the original Grand Theft Auto V um, playthrough, which I have never gotten through. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, another one that we'll check in potato mode, see if we can run that. Um, Long Dark, I know I can run this one on high graphics, but we'll still potato mode it for the sake of it. Uh, Mad Max, I know I can run this on high graphics. We'll still potato mode it because I actually do want to see what it looks like potato mode. Um, yeah, but I've got like Metal Gear Rising, um, Revengeance. I've got Metal Gear Solid, The Phantom Pain, Metro 2033, Monster Hunter World, Murdered Soul Suspect, No Man's Sky, uh, which I do know that one also works on, on high graphics. Um, Prey, never played. Uh, Red Dead Redemption. Tried streaming, did not go well. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, it's like Saints Row, um, Scribble Knots Unlimited, which I don't really think you can potato mode, but we'll try. Uh, sea of Thieves, of course, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, Slime Rancher, we'll potato mode those. Um, Soma, uh, which I will only play after I make the new avatar. I'm not, I'm not playing Soma um, with this avatar. Um, I want to. I want to get an avatar that has more expressive capability, uh, and that's that's the end goal. Um, of course, I've got Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. We'll potato mode that and see if we can stream it. I'm pretty sure that one's going to fail. Uh, Star Wars: The Knights of the Old Republic. That is a really old game. It is. It was released ages ago, and uh, one of the games that I very much enjoyed playing. It was supposed to be a game with, I think it was like 60 hours. I think I have like 92. Um, so I, I played that to completion, and I redid it a couple times. Um, I think no, it's only got like 25, 25 hours of gameplay or something like that, but I might have like 92. I replayed it a couple times, I know that much. Um, of course, Stardew Valley, not really much I can potato mode on that. Uh, there is an indie game called Star's End that I have not heard. Uh, the last activity was in 2023 in August. Um, 
So I'm pretty sure that is a dead in the water game. Yeah, it's been it's been abandoned. That sucks, but uh we'll we'll remove from the list. Um stranded deep. Looks to be still progressing. We'll take a look at that one too. Potato moded as well. Um I don't know why I have tabletop simulator in this. But I do. Uh let's see. There's a couple Tom Clancy titles. Um I've tried playing these titles again. I just can't get behind it. Um, I'm... Uh, there's Curse of Trine, Unrailed, which was one that I think we've played exactly 62 minutes of. Um, me and a couple friends attempted to play this, and uh, it... It is hell. Um, of course, there is V Rising, which we will get back to um, at some point. It is uh, only an 8 gigabyte game, but it is... Um, they've had some updates to it, so I want to see. Uh, it's it's kind of a fun game because it's like... It, it's, it scales well. Um, I will potato mode Void Crew as much as I can, but uh, there's only so much I can do. Um... And of course, there are the Watchdog titles, which once again will be a hard slog to get through. And then I've got the Witcher titles. Um, so I've got I've got 70 games that we need to go through. Um, some of which I know we're going to fail. Uh, and then of that list, let's see. I removed the entire Assassin's Creed titles off of that because I am waiting to see how that whole court case rolls out. Um... If you're not up to date on what Ubisoft's been up to, some of their execs are horrible people. Um, and we're, uh, a, to put it in light terms, and I mean in very light terms, they were abusing members of their staff. Um, so we're, I'm waiting, I'm, I'm waiting to see them get charged. Once they're charged, I'll support the company, but I want those people in jail. Um... Let's see, what other games can I play? Let's see, none of these are story content. A lot of these are just messing around games. What is Robocraft? Why is that even on my list? Did I accidentally add you to my library? Uh, let's see. I don't even know why I have Total War Shogun 2, but apparently I have that. I don't... Last update was October 2020. Uh, it's Tropico 4... Yeah, so I pretty much have 70 games that I need to, like, go through and play. Um... That does put me at 130 games owned on Steam. <laughs> um, and that is just... Total War is awesome. Okay, well, you know what? We'll give it a shot. We'll we'll add we'll add that. I don't do good with strategy games, FYI. And I recognize that um the proper way to say it is I don't do well with strategy games, but let, let's just stick with I don't do good with strategy games. Um Ruse Ruse was another one. It was a nice concept game. Um, 
That is interesting. Hi, can we try that again? Store page, please. How do I have a game that doesn't exist? <laughs> they removed it from Steam. That sucks. Okay, so Shogun Total War is on the list. Um, there are a couple games that are sitting in my uh, wish list as well. Um, this includes Enshrouded, which I don't think I'm going to be able to play. Um, because it's a very new game. Uh, and my computer is 10 years old. And, um, well, over 10. It was, it was built in 2014, 2013. Um, I bought it in 2016. And, um... I have since upgraded it with uh, 32 gigs of RAM. Um, please consider that, that I'm running a 1660 Ti um, and i7-6700, not even the 6700K series, um, just the i7-6700, uh, which is a four-core processor. Um, I have 32 two gigabytes of RAM, which are technically rated at uh, 3600 um, hertz, but the motherboard caps my uh, hertz rating to 2133. So 233, sorry, 2133 um, hertz, uh, which means my 4.0 gigahertz capable processor isn't even running at high spec. The, the motherboard is capping it. It, the, the motherboard is not 4.0 capable. Um, so my RAM doesn't run at 4.0 or doesn't run at the 36. Uh, my processor doesn't run at um, uh, 4.0, even though it will trigger itself as running at 4.0. Um, it, it actually can't run, technically speaking, um, at 4.0 for a single, like, uh, for a single line or for a single bus on the... Uh, um, on the motherboard, it's it's uh, basically a 2.1 gigahertz processor um, capability. Uh, it's just running on four separate cores. So there's four separate tasks that can run at 2.1 gigahertz um, through the processor at uh, a 4.0 gigahertz speed. So it, it'll process through the processor really fast and like run to the component parts, but it won't run um, a single process at that speed. Uh, so with that in mind, my um, my graphics card's being underutilized by the processor uh, by a, um, I think it's a 36 or 40% uh, bottleneck, um, just just to the graphics card and processor alone. Uh, the motherboard is, is capping that further, um, and that even, even includes my RAM. So all of this basically means that my computer is extremely old. The fact that I can run any of the games that I do play, even the ones that I play privately, um, is, is, is nothing short of amazing. It, it is a, uh, it is a full decade old PC. Um, if not 11 years old, uh, it, it needs an upgrade. Um, I won't, I won't shy away from that. Uh, so my 3600 like RAM, like everything that it, that's in that system, the RAM, the 1660 Ti, um, th those are getting swapped once I can afford the new system. And if you check in the upper corner there, I'm, I'm raising, like it's up there, but I'm, I'm, I'm raising money for the, uh, um, I'm raising money for the processor, uh, pretty much at this point, um, because the motherboard and the case and the fans can all come later. Uh, I just need to get that processor. And the reason why I want that processor is that I've technically run it out to a um, a 3090 equivalent uh, graphics card, which I can't afford. Um, so the processor would, would have a zero bottleneck on that, um, which is ideally what I'm looking for. Uh, but the process to upgrade is about 750. Um, and that's for the processor, for the motherboard, 
uh, and for the heat sink. Uh, that's not including case. Case is something that, that I expect to pay out of pocket, along with uh, any other cooling fans that I'm going to need. Um, and then I'm basically just going to um, slot in the old graphics card into this current PC, slot in the old 16 gigabytes of RAM, and um, I am going to see if the old equipment runs. And if the old equipment runs, then um, it's only a 2 gigabyte uh, um, GPU that's in there. So what I'll probably end up doing is using that, this other PC, that the, the one that I, I still have, um, as potentially the, the streaming rig. Uh, to take the gameplay off of the current uh, PC and and but in order to do that, I'm gonna need a uh, capture card, um, and that capture card is gonna cost. So it's it's kind of like a whole roundabout thing um, that this is all gonna go through. Uh, but yeah, it's um, I will be trying to run a dual rig because it, it, at this point I do need to do a full upgrade of everything. And so if I'm doing a full upgrade of everything, then I might as well use the older machine to uh, to stream, because um, it's not gonna it's not gonna require much to to uh, process the uh, do outbound processing. But um, it's nice that because like I've taken a look at Entrada and it looked like it was it was graphically intensive. Um, please note that like when I play a game like Conan, um, I'm playing it on low graphics in order to play it because I if I'm going into a player's build, uh, whether that is raiding, whether that is just walking around, whether that's being on an, R on an RP server, which tends to be worse, um, it is very taxing on my system. My system basically runs at a constant uh, 80 degrees, to, like bores on 90, and if it hits 90, it's uh, um, it's set to just shut down. So um, I run, I've run. Uh, in the dead of winter, this room cold as ice. I've run that thing up to 85 degrees, just playing Conan. Um, so it's an older game. Uh, I do find it funny that uh, Ruse is um, dead. Ruse is gone. That's interesting. I got a lot of war games back from my days. When I was trying to tell myself <sighs> that I wasn't a that I wasn't a girl, that I was a guy, and I was playing all of the war games, I try and tell myself that this is who I was. I failed, um, and I'm here today. But. Yes. Uh, okay, so 71 games to go through now. Um, I am not reinstalling Ark. Ark is, Ark is a massive game, and I will not play it. I guess there is some Steam games as well that I have not got on there, because uh, Ark is, once again, this is a 232 gigabyte game, and this is what I was talking about, about optimization. It's unoptimized. Um... Got Astroneer. Baldur's Gate. Doom, which is another one that we, uh, we'll add the Tally Psychics list because I still need to play that one. Um, God, there's so much game. Europa Universalis, never playing that one again. Uh, I do have the original Gary's mod, but that is just a bag of worms in itself. Um, Sid Meier's Civilization V. Won't be playing that again. Uh, ooh. Never going back to that one. Um, Stellaris, technically. That one I can't talk about. Because that's not safe for work. I'm not as wholesome as you think I am. Um... Tom Clancy's The Division, War Thunder, and Warframe. 
I don't want to get back into Warframe. <laughs> uh, don't starve together. Uh, that one is, that one is a fun one to play with friends. Uh, will, will freely admit that. Um, seven days to die. I hate that because it scares me. Okay, the, the the reason here's here's the truth. Finally, coming out to all my friends, to Jacob, to Ollie, who might still be in chat, to anyone who's up this stupidly late. The reason why I didn't like Seven Days to Die is because the zombies spooked me, okay? And I don't do good with spooks. So y'all are running around and you're like, oh, we're doing all this stuff. And I am constantly terrified that I'm going to turn around and there's going to be a zombie I didn't hear walking up behind me. And it's just going to scare the crap out of me. That is why I don't like the game, okay? I need someone to hold my hand at all times. I need someone to watch my sex. I need someone to babysit me. I don't do good with horror. <laughs> Despite owning multiple horror games, I don't do good with horror. So Seven Days to Die was one of those games. It just, it, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Also, um, there is the Game of the Year Enhanced Edition. But you're the same? Oh my god. Like, I just need someone to hold my hand. I just need someone to be like, I got your back. I'm there for you. Like, that's what I need. That's why I'd be like, yeah, I'll just remain at the base. Right, I didn't go out and search for you guys. I remained at the base to do things. Why was I doing that? Why was I remaining at the base? Because the base was safe. <laughs> I could just hide in the base and not worry. Um, yeah, I don't. Uh, Seven Days to Die was was terrible. Um, there is, this is something to consider. Um, there is the I tried to stream Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced Edition, which was their re-release. Um. If I check the store page, the, the Enhanced Edition, I think, was their uh, August 2023 release. So it was with updated graphics. So I could play Borderlands, the original, on low graphics, or I can play their enhanced version on low graphics. So really the question is, is do you want to play <laughs> low graphics or do you want to play enhanced low graphics? I could do both. They're like both 16 gigabytes in size. Anyway. Uh, yeah, whoa. I'll go through and complete Doom and I'll do it on low graphics. Um, I really wanted to get Doom Eternal, but it was one of those things where it's like, I, I can't play half these games. Um, and I will eventually play Sea of Thieves again, but I will do it on low friggin' graphics. But like, it's just... Out of, out of all of these games, <laughs> um, how to put this? Out, out of all of these games, uh, what is it? I have I have changed things around. I have seventy four on my list and there are technically I will consider these two I will consider these two to be personal ones so that leaves one two three four oh but you're in the you're in that uh so are you I don't need to put you in favorites anymore. It's been a while since you've been installed. Um, no Man's Sky was another one. But if I'm checking between just between the uncategorized and my list, 
there is 74 and 76. So I'm sorry, I lied. Out of all the games I played, some of these are free to play and don't count because I haven't purchased them. But there is... Um, I have 150 games on Steam. And that is not even considering that I have some games that are off Steam as well. I have too many games. <laughs> okay. Well, I will let you guys all go. Uh, thank you all for coming to watch. It has been a uh, full hefty three hours of uh, listening to me ramble. Um, and yeah, I have some stuff to look up. Um, I am in the process of going through all of... 2D Cubism's editor software. Um, I will be doing more on that um, coming soon. Uh, yeah. Um, I just have to go through tutorials to kind of learn what the editor's doing. And then I can showcase sort of like how it all works. And then it's down to uh, me utilizing this tablet that is next to me and um, getting good at drawing so that I can... Uh, draw an, an avatar that'll have more expression. Um, there's a high chance that I may need to, after I've taken the time to build all of the assets, uh, to buy into one of the yearly subscriptions, or at least a monthly subscription, um, to the 2D, 2D cubes, cubism software to build the avatar so that I can throw it into rigging. Um, gonna suck but it might be worth it especially if it's like only like 60 bucks for the one period um it, it'll it'll be worth it potentially in the long run so yeah i will uh like this avatar was completely free fyi um i spent ungodly amount of hours uh editing it to, to get it to where it is now um the, the hairstyle was made by someone else. The ears were technically an asset made by uh, someone else that are default used. I just modified them a bit. Uh, even the glasses are um, pre-made assets. Uh, the eye color, the uh, um, how the eyebrows sit, like just the positioning of everything, that's what I did. Um, and then of course there was a little bit on the, on the decision of the clothing. Um, so yeah. But I would like something that is uniquely just 100% made by me. Um, no, I don't care if anybody else uses it uh, or takes parts from it and strips it and uses those parts el elsewhere. I will once again always say, just credit me for it. That's it. I, I don't care. I just want to be credited for the, the parts that I created, you know? I am envious of you. Like, I know that I'd never be able to play that many games, but like... Hot damn. A thousand seventy three. You have played every single free to play game that's out there. That or you have just bought every game. That was under like the five dollar list. <laughs> I'm impressed. Um. Intimidated. And 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 envious as heck. I would I would love to have that many games. Ah. Uh, can I still be envious? <laughs> can I I'd, I'd love to have the money to have a spending problem. <laughs> I just I love food too much. This is literally the situation like, "Oh, I'm going to save up for something." And then and then and then I get takeout. <laughs> um Oh, dang. Wait, no, family sharing is a thing. Oh, but that means I'd potentially have to share my library, and there's some titles in there I don't think I want people to know I own. <laughs> it's actually not ramen. You're close, though. Right culture, wrong food. You want to know the one thing that I spend the most money on? Oh, I mean, that's what I was talking about. I was talking about the fact that I have porn games. <laughs> and I don't want to be judged. 
<laughs> okay, I am I am a uh I blame Oliver for this and for us growing up together. I blame Ollie for doing this to me. I have There are lewd things, okay? Um but yes, uh it's probably the only reason why I won't share it. It's just like the the number one thing I spend my money on and it's the stupidest thing in the world is sushi. I love sushi. I I can't. It's I walk past the little thing in the grocery store with the the sushi options and I get the teriyaki chicken sushi and um because I don't trust the fish. Uh and even if it's imitation crab, I still don't trust it. Um I I I I worked in a butcher shop. I never trust the fish. <laughs> I will never trust fish again. Um, like unless I'm buying it right off the boat and I'm the one handling it, I don't trust fish. Um, that said, uh, I get the teriyaki chicken. I come home and I eat the whole thing to myself, and I could have like, you could get me three of those. You could get me three of those little like packages of them. And you'd be like, yeah, this is going to last Tally like at least two days. No, it'll last me. <laughs> it'll last you maybe two hours. <laughs> All of that I am going to eat. I don't care if it hurts me. Oftentimes it doesn't. It's the one it's one of the few foods I can overeat. I actually have a problem with overeating ramen because now for some reason the noodles can hurt me. Um, so I've got to be careful. Uh, and I think it's it's the noodles and it's whatever spice they have in the packages. Sometimes it just upsets me. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, but sushi, sushi's fair game. I, I will I will spend ungodly amounts of money on sushi. I, I enjoy sushi too much. Um, the three things I spend my money on are sushi, crepes, and uh, and not like breakfast crepes. Like I get like the lunch crepes, like the ones that have like chicken and um uh like chicken avocado and and stuff like that in it um i get i get those kinds of crepes um so yeah uh sushi crepes and actually in this order it is chicken burgers sushi then crepes if you haven't figured it out by now i fucking love chicken <laughs> i i will eat chicken three times a day and not care i just i love it so much probably because every single time that i've had beef it's actually like hurt me but like chicken doesn't chicken and pork um but pork's expensive so uh i go for chicken and chicken is awesome uh chicken burgers they're the best um i don't think i've eaten i think i think three days ago was the first time i've eaten a hamburger in over a year and a half Like that's that's the the how much I love chicken burgers. It was three days ago. I was on a year and a half streak of not having a regular hamburger. And now I've broken that. And now I want more sushi. <laughs> I want chicken burgers and sushi. <laughs> uh, okay, I will I will once again I'm, I'm gonna let you guys go. Um have a uh, good rest of your night. Um, enjoy, hydrate, God, I'm gonna sure drink like half a jug of water, uh, but, um, yeah, uh, hydrate, stay safe, take care of each other, and I will see you all the next time I stream or the next time I do a video, um, there, I've got like two or three videos on the back burner that I have yet to complete, so, uh, maybe one of those will pop out, um, but I'll see you all next time, so until then, take care, be safe, bye!